this is Sean Orr, the community manager here at Hemlock Farms, hanging out with my buddy here today in the backyard of the youth center where uh, tomorrow night we start our three weeks of haunted house. So uh, every Saturday, starting this Saturday uh, for the next three weeks, the 14th, the 21st, the 28th, we'll have the haunted house and hayride here at the youth center. Uh, you do uh, go over to the art chalet, take a hayride over here, and then go through the haunted house. The cost is eight dollars to do both. Or if you just want to do the hay ride and not the haunted house, it's a five dollar charge for that. So there is a little bit of rain possible this Saturday. We will make uh, an announcement uh, tomorrow afternoon, late if we do have to cancel. But hopefully the weather will cooperate for that. But come out and check it out. Uh, uh, staff's been working on this to make it uh, as scary as possible and have a fun experience for everybody. So want to talk about the clubhouse wall uh, framing will be uh, completed this week. Uh, on the clubhouse wall, so that's good. That means no more outside elements for, for the pool area and the clubhouse. So there's still work to be done. And this week, I know we had to close the baby pool in the, in the hot tub a couple of days because of construction. One day next week, next Thursday, we will have to close the, the indoor pool because we're doing the uh, insulation that day. And uh, it's gonna be uh, uh, basically a construction zone in there. So. So the indoor pool will be closed on Thursday, but uh, work is progressing there. Uh, weather's been great for the outdoor uh, work there, but uh, it's continuing to work. Any other closures or any other uh, inconveniences, we'll make sure that we post that on Facebook and also on uh, the website. Uh, we did get back the, the water samples uh, that we took uh, last week. Uh, we just got them back on Wednesday. Uh, this goes back to Hemlock Lake, where Kelly uh, Stegan and I talked last week in video. Uh, they did come back negative. So what that means is that when we took those samples, that the toxicity levels of those samples was not above levels that uh, would require us to take action on the lake. Now, we still had a bloom. It was a bad bloom. So as we said from the beginning with this, if you see a bloom like that, when in doubt, stay out. And as Kelly said, never ingest any lake water because you never know if it's if it's safe or not so you just want to always keep those in mind no matter what when swimming in the lake so uh, going forward we're going to create some signs that'll have some education kelly's uh, uh video last week was very very good as far as education of algal blooms so we'll continue to run that whenever we see algal blooms in the future we also talked at the environmental uh, uh committee about proactive approaches to this. And uh, we talked with our lake consultant and uh, came up with a few ideas that we can do in-house. They're also getting us some uh, quotes on some ideas that, that uh, they could do for us. So going forward, uh, do, do a, some different things to help with those algal blooms when they do pop up in, in any of our lakes there. So I want to remind everybody that water bills will be going out next week. This is the third quarter water bills. So make sure that when you get that, you do get those paid, uh, but you can probably start seeing those uh, in your mailboxes in the next uh, week to two weeks for that. So also want to give an update on the uh, filtration plant, the piping in there. The piping is all set. We are just waiting on the flow meters now. Uh, they have been shipped and uh, they will be installed as soon as we get those. So uh, it'd probably be one more weekend where we have uh, to deal with some cloudy water, but uh, everything else is in place, just waiting on those flow meters. Once they're in, we'll get everything back up and running. So apologize for the delay for this. This has taken the contractor a little bit longer than uh, they planned, but uh, it, it, the end is near for that. So we're getting close. And then I wanna finish with uh, Sunday. Remember, it's our breast cancer awareness walk at one o'clock that's at the conference center and uh, there's going to be a speaker and registration at one o'clock and then the walk is at two o'clock the entry fee is twenty dollars but it includes a long sleeve t-shirt and it is a rain or shine event so bring your ponchos or umbrella if, if we do have some rain there but uh, should be a great event for a great cause so come out and uh, and do the walk it's our first annual and hopefully uh, continue this every year so that's all i've got this week everybody uh, Come out to the uh, haunted house, should be a fun weekend. Halloween's starting around uh, Hemlock Farms, so take care.